Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sean Flattery! Ernest, everyone, let him hear it. Uh, thank you for having me. Congratulations on 10 years, everyone. Um, you know, I, I'm sure you're going to get enough of your jabs from everyone else. Uh, so I thought, this is actually a 10-year anniversary for me because I moved here about 48 hours before the Red Eye debuted. So I thought what I would do instead of just sort of like kind of giving jabs is I would give one man's kind of condensed 10-year history with the Red Eye. Because I think the Red Eye is important to everyone who moves here. Like, I think your first big city experience is when you find out a homeless guy just sold you a free newspaper <laughs> at the Western Brown Line stop. You know, like that's when you know you're not in Kansas City literally anymore. <laughs> and the Red Eye's changed a lot. My, my buddies and I, we had just moved here. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio originally. And the Red Eye, it still has these daily bar specials that they'll recommend. But I think you guys have become like more of like a business conglomerate now where like maybe it's sponsors or at a minimum you're steering people to safe bars now <laughs> that like satisfy like zoning codes and so on. Back in the day when you guys launched, I think you just had an alcoholic that you would, it would just be like, what day is it, Friday? Okay. Well, Roses on Lincoln's got 50 cent, you call it, said. <laughs> I went to a bar that does not exist anymore off the Red Eye suggestion. It was called Lakeview Lynx. Do, you, do we got some alcoholics here that remember that? It was on Belmont and Wilton, and I'm convinced the CTA just expound, expanded the brown line to demolish this bar. <laughs> I go in there. They had, one dollar, uh, they had $1 bottles on Thursday, and I learned about it in the Red Eye. This was my first experience to a Red Eye crowd. We're walking towards the bar. We get out of the cab. There's a man with an enormous black eye sitting outside, and he just goes, major karaoke dispute. <laughs> there were no cops or anything like that. He just unsolicitedly shared that with us. <laughs> We get in there, like I talk to the bartender, like I'm buying all these beers, and I find out the reason why it's called Lakeview Links is there used to be a miniature golf course on the top level, and in his words, golf, golf clubs, dollar beers, huge mistake. <laughs> huge mistake. So they got rid of the golf thing. We end up drinking there to like three or four. This is in like August, I, uh, I believe. So you guys have been doing it for like, uh, like eight months now. The Cubs uh, had a game. Anyways, the Clarks is next door, that diner. Everyone goes from Lakeview Links into Clarks. Guy from the Cubs game gets alcohol poisoning. EMS comes in. What does everyone, but like the red eye crowd do? They give him a standing O <laughs> as the EMS people <laughs> get him into the ambulance. And I really feel like that's sort of, if you read the red eye, that's its target market. Like, have you ever, have you ever looked at the ads? It's just like beer, bar, deep dish pizza. Now you gotta fucking exercise. Then it's a gym. It's just gyms, beer, and pizza. Every ad. And I had a, a personal experience with it. Uh, as Ernest mentioned, I do a show called The Blackout Diaries, where comics... Plus, uh, some people have heard about it. Comics plus real people tell drinking stories. And we, we had like a fairly successful run, but we had small crowds. It was like mostly theater and comedy nerds that had heard about it. And then the Red Eye gave us a great review. And uh, you could tell by the crowd when we got a good Red Eye review. <laughs> like, let's just say the bartenders were very happy. But this is a show where you can ask questions. The first question I received, you can write it down, you can ask questions. First question from the red eye crowd was just anal sex. <laughs> Which is not even a question, you know? Like, like, I don't think you can do that on Jeopardy, where you could just go, like, Shakespeare? <laughs> like, you know, like. <laughs> but that's why, you know, I, I am, like, I'm thankful for any kind of print media. Like, I think print media, if, if it weren't for print media, Thank you, yes, yes. Give yourselves a round of hands here. If it weren't for print media, like who would keep politicians honest? You know, who would expose scandals and threats, you know, and new laws? But let's be honest, that's not the purpose the red eye serves. <laughs> you guys serve something much more valuable, if I may. 
because we have this whole collection of drunks from the Midwest that move here every year that have, and they're used to getting Rust Belt drunk. And they don't know that, yes, you can get a $2 beer in Chicago. Yes, there is a protocol for vomiting in a cab. <laughs> and you guys serve that purpose, and I thank you very much. Congratulations on 10 years, everyone.